Welcome to Streaming the Legs. My name is Mr. Orange and this is the GOG Galaxy uh, launcher. So this launcher wants to bring together most of the other launchers that we already have on the PC. So I was uh, yeah, I was logging in, I was downloading the launcher and then I was connecting it to my if you go in here on settings, then I was connecting the launcher to Xbox Live, to Epic Game Store, to Origin. Yeah, PlayStation Network, uh, well, it's not necessary since uh, I don't have, uh, well, I only have games on play on the PlayStation itself. And of course, to Steam and Uplay. So it's very simple, actually. So that's the integration of the other launchers, which is what I want to, or where I want, what I want to talk to you about in this uh, video is about uh, yeah what I like about this new way of uh, uh, bringing different launchers in one launcher together, and uh, yeah, on the positive and the negative parts. So f negative part definitely that what I, well, what I think what I'm missing here is that. The Battle.net launcher is not part of it, and uh, Twitch, uh, yeah, the Twitch, my Twitch games library is also not part of it. And then furthermore, the Bethesda launcher is also not part of it. Yeah, and we also know that the Rockstar launcher is not part of it. So, so there's still some other launchers missing, but yes, of course, Steam Uplay is there, Origin is there, Epic Game Store is there, so that's already very really good, so most people have their games on Steam, I guess uh, you play Origin, yeah, on Epic Game Store, so this might be then. Okay, so features, so what you can, yeah, that's the settings, so what do you see now? So we can see in the Galaxy client, so I have it in English, you can have in different languages, you can participate in the public beta cons uh, regularly, then you have the interface uh, with a store of GOG as well. So of course they also want to sell their game, so therefore they make this launcher. And then I show my friends at the sidebar, so and with the notifications, yeah I mostly turn them off because I'm not so interested in to get a notification if one of my friends is joining a game on Steam. Alright, I'm closing now here the settings, so here you find the settings on the upper left side. And then you can sync integration, that's what he's doing every time that you start. Every time you start the, the launcher, he's syncing. Then you can add games uh, and friends uh, manually, redeem a GOG code, uh, scan the folders for GOG games, or voila, connect to different platforms, that's what we've just seen yet. So there's not so much going on there yet. So overall, I will, after after going a bit through this launcher, so my verdict is more: Do I really need it? I mean, it's more easy and more. Uh, or it's it's more clear for me to to click on the different launchers and then start the games there directly. So the idea behind this is, is genius. I, I love it to to get actually all the games in one launcher, but. Um, the the way it's presented is maybe not yet uh, perfect. So it's uh, it's not really uh, getting a good overview. So I think that's that's the the main issue that I have. For example, now I look at all my games, so, and I see yeah this game for example Assassin's Creed yeah it's a game on Steam and uh, on UPlay. So I have it on Steam and then I play it on UPlay or the UPlay launcher starts. Uh, the moment I, I play it and on Steam, and here I can I can give it different ratings. I can tag, I can write tags. Oh well, no text there. <laughs> Oops. So let's click here. So that's my gaming time. For example, you see I played a Call of Duty World War II. I was logged in. Let's say like this, and I didn't play so much. 565 hours, which is a lot. And the second game is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and that comes Skyrim already, and then another Call of Duty, and another Call of Duty, and another Call of Duty, and then Assassin's Creed. So, so do you see here? You see actually very well which are my favorite games, so which games I enjoyed the most. So I'm a big Call of Duty player. So that's how it is, just here. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this could be a little bit more clear. Then we have the different filters. I can filter to genre. We can filter then the different platforms. For example, I can now filter for only Epic. Then you see those are the games that I played the most. 
let's go back voila so those are the games that i played on epic the most or better said those are games that i have on epic as well as i have them on steam so this is already then a problem so he finds that the games are doubled there he sees it for example here uh, for honor i have it on steam you play an epic and overall overall you see it in here too oh yeah okay i'm just going back again so i mostly played for honor i don't know on which pl platform i played it the most but you see that i have done overall i played it 12 hours so on all of the platforms as well here with an alan, alan wake that i have also you see this with a two i have it on steam as well i have it on the epic uh, games launch and I played it like then 11 hours So it's then not I guess you have to put then another filter So then I for example if I want to see only games that I have on epic is this possible? No, that's not possible You see that's actually not possible. So so if I want to filter out uh, the the other platforms No, that's then not possible. Well, so, but that's already, you see how much I played in my games here. So, of course, if I want to start in a game, now let's let's go in Alan Wake. Then I have it here on Steam and the question, so it's not installed yet. The question is on which, <laughs> where would I actually now start this game? I think then I would start it if I have it on Steam on Steam, but uh, what is if I have it installed on both launchers? So would I, which one would he choose then? Here it's Steam, obviously. Yeah, and then you see here I have a friends Lee. Well, the activity feed is from Steam. That's the same from Steam. You you remember after the the new update of the launcher? Well, we can watch some videos, uh, see some pictures, have a critics Metacritic store, etc. See uh, what people got for achievements, and then you have a leaderboard of the achievements. That's actually something that I uh, enjoy. So that's a very positive side, a positive part of it. So the expander. Uh, is the second one and I have like 43% of achievements played 11 hours and he played 13 hours and he has only 42% so I'm much better <laughs> so that's it <laughs> so well let's go and uncheck the platform so we see all of the games and let's see we have a grid here so that's the grid so then you see all of the games of course um, with this tiny little steam pictures so that's that's very nice and very nicely made so it's like like on steam so that's that's definitely a positive point so i enjoy this of the gog launcher but the list is a bit more clear so definitely also that i see the time that i played and i can uh i can organize it due to the time i played here i think i can't do it so but he already organized it to the time I played because I did it already here. We can also organize it due to the games that I played 100%. That's actually cool. So I'm very proud of Wolfenstein 100%. The other ones are mostly cheesy, easy uh, ach yeah, achievement hunter titles. But then you have some of the other games. So I have already good, good value. So not too bad actually. So for someone that has so many games. Well, let's go jump up again. Customize list view. Ah, critics rating. So here I can put some, uh, yeah, we can do this. Let's wait uh, one, one moment. Let's go back to the timing view and then we go to the customize list view. Well, here you can change the size. I like it a bit smaller so achievements critics rating we can put here so not all of the games have critics rating but here we already see then you can choose some of the best games this is also uh, more more or less inspired uh, by by what we see at the steam store so i make it uh, away again i don't like it genre and lastly played so lastly played it's yeah lastly played that's good so i'm leaving this uh, putting that also in the list so three days ago i played average project eden and last year so two games i got for review purposes very good then i played bone works type night diamond pits and yeah i didn't play a lot of games actually recently so i have to diamond pit 
I play Demon Pit, but she doesn't show me the time, for example. So then something went wrong there. Now your platform name. Ah, well, okay, now I got it. So maybe with this platform name, when we see it on a game that we have double. Now I show it to you. Now I put on Epic. And then, now, now I see only the titles that I've Ah, no, okay. Again, he's mixing it up. Again, he's mixing it up. Okay, then I uncheck this because that's then not so interesting for me. Platform name. Release your tags. Well, tags I'm unchecking. They're not necessary. So, lastly, played. So yeah, I kind of, I kind of like those, those ones. Then sorted. Here we can then uh, sort uh, also what you have seen there. And then I would say yeah. Let's sort it due to the lastly plate. That's cool. And now we have Epic, so lastly plate with Steam. All games, only Windows games. Yeah, and then we can add new games. So yeah, that's the all overall view of your library. That's the overall view of your library. And then we can also check only games that you have installed. So for example, I only have installed those games yet. The other games that I don't have installed. And there would be actually interesting to see, no, I can't see it, so how much uh, Gigabyte it has. So Steam has this new function. So I really like it. They could actually have implemented this function as well here in the GOG uh, launcher. Then we have uh, GOG Com. I uh, don't have games. Then I, we click just here, and then I see again the games that I have doubled. Just talking about this, so I will go back now to all games. So, I, so and then we click on click now here uh, on the activity board. So there you see from all your friends the overall activity. This might be interesting. So we can see the friends in games. So, for example. Oh, Kitty Powers, Pirate Guy. So here I see if friends are in games. So then I can click on the game and join them. Here we see all the Steam friends, all the GOG friends. So those are really GOG friends. Those are all the friends via Steam. So they're actually on our online on Steam. That's interesting. Friends leaderboards. Oh, the friends leaderboard is this month gaming. So I didn't play uh, 229 hours. I didn't do. I guess it's the Steam VR, which is still uh, the, the clock running like crazy. They have to fix it. So I didn't play that much. So, <laughs> guys, I know I didn't. So, yeah, here yeah, in the leaderboard of the friends, I'm like number five. But of course, I didn't play this much. So, that's. I guess it's then Steam VR, which is, uh, which is messing this function up. And it's not really working. Yeah, the overall activity is kind of nice. So that's something that's a plus uh, with regard to Steam. Steam doesn't have this where, well, not so clear because I see we, who played five hours played, who got some achievement. So it's not very uh, uh, over, a good overview. It's a little bit messy at the moment. You can see it, it's not working perfectly. But oh, let's say hey, it's a start. It's a start. So what else do we have? Ah, I can click this away. Yeah, and I think that's it actually. And then we can go into the store. And then we go in the store and then you see there's a winter sale going on. Pick five games to save more. Okay, that looks interesting. You see already I'm hooked now on, on buying games here on the GOG launcher. So are there actually some good prices? Well, well, it doesn't look too bad. So, I mean, it's a GOG uh, store. So, and then I can pick good old games up to 90%. I can actually buy uh, seven euros so Diablo for the old one. Oh my God, that's actually pretty expensive. And I uh, remember having those games before. I, I wanted to check this out. So, Drogon, I once made a video about this, so that's now 14 years, that's uh, that's interesting. Bloodstained Foundation, Layers of Fear, also 50% down. So, how is this working? Please select something. So, 20% of your collection. So, if I buy this now, 
you save six euros, 30%. And then I also buy foundation. And then I also buy, do I get something more? Select at least five games to unlock the best deal. Okay. Don't fear indivisible is interesting. Layers of feet is interesting and druid stone. So now I have five games. Buy five games selected. So I get 49% down. So the question is if this is really done the best. Uh, yeah, I have, I would have now to count actually the prices if this is what I get. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's the uh, GOG uh, shop. There's the winter sale going on, of course. Oh, it doesn't run really smooth. I have to admit this could be better. And this was also, yeah, this was a video about the library, about the new GOG launcher. So I don't think for now that I will use it. Uh, I'm con I'm concentrating to use to use then Steam and my other launchers or launcher games directly from those other launchers uh, because it's not really it it it's, it doesn't really run so smooth. It's not crashing. It's not crashing, but it should could run a bit smoother and and it doesn't give me actually such a great overview. I don't see the point now why I should start all my Steam titles now here uh, from from this launcher when I could just then start them from Steam. So I don't see now the the added value to this aspect. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, check out my other videos if you're interested in Steam, in Epic Game Store, in launchers, in sales, etc. So there's always a lot going on. And yeah, I'm leaving it here. Have a wonderful day, my friends. See you the next time. Bye bye.